And we're back for some more Bay Sunday now. Having an equal voice, that's the battle cry of our next guest, diversifying the mainstream media so it represents all corners of the world, bringing a voice to invisible communities, ethnic minorities, immigrants, and young people alike. Pleased to have the executive director of the New America Media, Sandy Close, and a student at Zaytuna College over in Berkeley, Abbas Darab, with us this morning. And we'll say hello one thank more you. time. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Good to have you here this morning. Well, Sandy, let's begin. New America Media, what is that? You know, we were greedy journalists that wanted to know <laughs> what was in the Chinese press, what was in the Spanish language radio, what was coming out in the Afghan and Arab language media. Mm -hmm. And in 1996, we brought about 20 ethnic media to a Chinese lunch, and this extraordinary collaboration of ethnic media that's now national was born with a, a real uh, insight into how anxious ethnic media were to be part of the journalism landscape, to be at the table, to know about each other's communities mm -hmm. and create an AP of ethnic media. And to have a voice because so many people, you can only do so much and to have that voice there well, is so Well, we're very, vital. very parochial in America. We, yeah. we didn't know, for example, uh, that Zaytuna College lit was existing in, in Berkeley. Guilty as charged. I had to look it up. Uh, well, let's bring you in, Abbas. Uh, tell us about Zaytuna College and, uh, and what's your study. So uh, uh, Zaytuna College is the first Muslim liberal arts college, and we actually just graduated our first class this past weekend. I, grad I applied to Zaytuna about uh, three years ago. I just finished my junior year. I was born and raised in Vienna, Virginia, out on the East Coast. Uh, when I was interested in studying my religion within the States, Zaytuna was one of the few options we had. And so when I heard about it, it was the only school I applied to. And I've been here three years now, and uh, it's been a great experience. And will you be a journalist? Is that what you want to be? or? Uh... Um, you know, the future, uh, I, d I don't know yeah, what it has in store. When I was a store. junior, I had no clue either. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what it has in store for me. Um, the, the beautiful thing about Zaytuna is that it's, a, as a liberal arts, is providing us with the tools to really explore into whatever area we decide to go in. Um, but it's not really, the only major right now is Islamic law and theology, but there's no one set path when you leave Zaytuna. It's really up to the students and what their ambitions and passions are. And Sandy, you guys discovered, growing up, a Muslim project, that you right. discovered that th these young voices, like Abbas, just weren't being heard. We had the great advantage of a really amazing survey done by two scholars, funded by the San Francisco Foundation, Silicon Valley Community Foundation, and others. 230,000 Muslim Americans here in the Bay Area in extraordinary diversity of high levels of education, South Asian, Middle Eastern, African, uh, many American-born, 11% converts. But the youth voice, the next generation, was not really prominent in that survey. Mm -hmm. So we uh, thought, yes, let's Let's bring young people together. And we, whether it was the son of a Yemeni grocer in Oakland, the daughter of Pakistani uh, educators, uh, a amazing uh, group of Afghan young people, we discovered a vibrant uh, and spiritually very, very open uh, community of young Muslims who see themselves in their life and the practice of their faith as reinterpreting Islam for the 21st century. And lo and behold, Zaytuna and the community of young Muslims are seen by Muslims all over the world now as bringing a, a kind of 21st century perspective sure. to this religion. So it's very exciting. It's, uh, and you're shaking your head going, yes, yes, yes. And yeah. that's probably why you're at Zaytuna. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that. Yeah. Um, the beautiful thing about Zaytuna is, um, you know, it's really seeking to bridge the, the, the Islamic tradition with the Western society and context that we grew up in. Um, it doesn't see uh, the two mutually exclusive, but rather really uh, in tune with one another. And so we're studying texts, um, you know, we're studying the, the Quran and, and the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, while at the same time studying philosophic writings of Plato and Aristotle and studying the American history that we grew up in within the society to know what type of society we're dealing with when, when we step out of the, of the walls of our school and, you know, uh, really engaging engaging our society with a, with a deep understanding of our history and our philosophy while being grounded in the principles of our religion and, and where we're coming from. So it's a beautiful mix between the two. And linking now to New America Media, how excited are you to, to, to have a voice? 
and to be uh, because um, you know because of some things that have happened in the Middle East, I think Americans they need to be educated. Right. No, yeah. most definitely. Um, when Sandy reached out to me, um, I, the basic idea I've got of what she was trying to do was to create to create um, a, a platform of understanding and, and, and therefore peace between different peoples of different backgrounds and also just to connect hearts through storytelling and through, through understanding our common human element between, despite our bit differences in backgrounds, we're all human beings and uh, really this, this opportunity to share our stories and, and dialogue with each other from where we come from is, is just an opportunity to connect our hearts and understand that at the end of the day we're all human beings, we have a basic you know, human commonality that brings us together and we there are differences but our commonalities are much bigger that bring us together and so this opportunity has been great to just hear different people's stories and to connect with people from different backgrounds. We're all human right and knowledge opens doors in a big way. It's uh, the greatest antidote to fear is information. Absolutely yeah. education. Sandy thanks for coming Thank in. you very Amos, much. What a pleasure to meet Appreciate you. All the best. Thank America. you very much. Uh, if you'd like more information about New America Media log on to newamericamedia.org. That's newamericamedia.org. Back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there, folks. Mm -hmm.